As a part of the Erasmus Plus program, a training course titled We Need Your Superpower – How to Implement Activities Based on Diversity was held from April 6 till April 14, 2024. The activities took place at the Heistra Agritourism Center in Huta Polanska, located in the Low Beskids in southern Poland, Jaslo country. The course lasted 11 days. Participants from eight countries – Italy, Bulgaria, Croatia, Romania, Turkey, Lithuania, Ukraine and Poland – attended the educational mobility. These were social and youth workers, youth leaders, trainers, teachers and educators who wanted to deepen their knowledge on supporting young people with fewer opportunities participating in project, to organize activities using the method proposed in the project and were motivated to pass the acquired knowledge to young people in their organization and countries. The activity program was extensive and included, among others, collaboration at the center, studio visits and cultural evenings. The workshops were based on art therapy, hippotherapy, music therapy, nature and forest education, nature handicrafts and yoga. Thanks to this, Yours workers developed skills in expressing their emotions, recognizing them and coping with them. Important aspects of the course were preventing burnout among educators, addressing mental health and supporting youth with fewer opportunities. Hello, my name is Andrus and uh, I'm from Lithuania, from Kona City. And this is my first Erasmus project. We're doing here a lot of activities and for me the most favorite was riding with the horses. It was the first time I got to experience uh, to ride with a horse and in general to touch it, it was the first time I touched it as well. And another thing, I had an opportunity to uh, make a workshop as well. It was uh, a challenging for me, but I overcame my challenges and uh, I really liked it, um, with many people from eight different countries and all of them, they, they are really friendly and uh, I like them right now, I hope I, I will have like, I will, it will be my friends in the future as well and I will have, I will contact them as well, maybe I will come to their country as well. Uh, the other thing uh, that I really liked, uh, that was uh, cultural evenings. I've tried many foods from different countries and uh, as well I had, uh, I learned some dances, uh, I learned some history about other countries that I didn't know and uh, yeah, so I really like uh, this. Erasmus project. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Marinko. I'm uh, from Croatia. Uh, I come in. Uh, I'm very happy to come to Poland because uh, I visit my friends uh, and I want to show my superpower. Uh, I am artist. Uh, usually, I work with uh, natural material. Uh, I uh, built some uh, big sculpture with uh, um, tree, a grape tree. But uh, uh, same, I know to do a lot of different uh, things. Uh, I know how to work uh, with uh, people. Uh, I want to uh, say every time when I come in some project like this one, I want to teach uh, people to believe in himself, to improve his uh, language, to uh, grow up in uh, the best way. But in the same way to uh, come in natural, to feel uh, uh, this beautiful place, these uh, trees, uh, water, everything what is around of us. I am Zeynep from Turkey. Uh, we are here uh, in Huta Polanska. Uh, I'm very happy to be here uh, to including this uh, perfect project. Uh, uh, with this project I can 
uh, share my experience, my knowledge with other good people. Um, we did yoga sessions together here and uh, I got uh, good feedbacks from them. I'm so happy. And also we did uh, many uh, good activities, workshops here. And uh, we experienced uh, hypotherapy, it was so special. Also, we connected uh, with nature, we, we did hiking and uh, music therapy, all of them, uh, um, I can't find the words, uh, uh, so all of them uh, were very, um, very special for us. Uh, we got many experience and we met uh, many good people here and we shared uh, many things each other. Thank you for you. Hi, my name is Claudio Agostinelli and I'm from Italy and um, I'm here to share my experience in uh, Erasmus Plus project. In this uh, project we have, uh, I have a, a lot of uh, good new experience when uh, usually I, can, uh, I can't in my normal routine life. It's a very uh, unique experience, also it's a very interesting uh, talking with people of the country the, for um, your mean for culture people who made some cuisine uh, other different recipes uh, different how to people cook uh, is a very a good experience for uh, for me and I think so for all people who are in this project also I mean I, I hope at last one time in your life you should take this uh, you should take uh, this program, uh, Erasmus Plus project, because it's very a uh, unique and uh, perfect experience for uh, all people. Hello, my name is Kirio. I'm from Bulgaria. I'm 22 years old, and I participate in this project um, from Bulgaria. End of the projects. I would like to share my. Uh, opinion. Uh, first of all, I really enjoy the activities. They make me feel very nice. Um, I like the activity when we had uh, 30 minutes uh, um, relaxing time by ourselves. This activity uh, helped me to think about a lot of things, about the emotions, um, about my talks, and really helped me a lot. Um, another activity that I enjoyed it was uh, when we um, had uh, had a walk in the mountain. Um, really <laughs> nice activity that I uh, enjoy to learn about uh, this national park. I learned a lot about animals, about uh, different flowers, and. I really feel very fresh after that. Um, and the last um, thing that really I, um, I enjoyed, it was the culture evening. It it always is a pleasure for me to learn new things about another countries, to learn new culture, um, new type of food, um, history about the co uh, countries. And I really learned a lot. I had really nice fun. And finally, I would like to say uh, you should uh, go to Erasmus. During the urban game in the city of Bardejev, Slovakia, participants were able to learn about culture and history of the borderland. At the Jan Shafranski Educational Museum Center at Magura National Park in Krempna, youth workers learned about nature education methods that engage in activities for the natural environment. There was also a meeting with students from the Mikolai Kopernik High School in Novij Migrut, during which participants introduced the project topic and the goals and assumption of the Erasmus Plus program to the students. There was also time for conversations, fun, integration games and sharing experiences related to participating in Erasmus project. During cultural evenings, each country had the opportunity to present its culture to participants from other countries. Uh, hi, I'm Veronika. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Poland. Uh, 
It's my second project uh, from Erasmus Plus and it was really fun and I'm uh, really I really enjoyed that I can uh, show people from other countries how it looks Polish schools, especially from sm school in small villages that we came from actually. So it was nice to sh it was nice to share with other people how we live and how we grow up and that they could see how it looks in Polish schools in small villages. It was uh, also nice to meet all of people from all of the countries to learn about their culture um, and that we have occasion to we have occasion to make some awesome friends from all of the Europe. My name is Emilia. I'm from Poland. This is my first uh, time in uh, Project Erasmus Plus. Uh, it's a great opportunity to meet uh, new people. I met awesome, really great people here from many, many countries. Uh, also, my English skills got really, really, really good. And uh, here in Huta Polańska uh, is really calm and I really like uh, how everywhere where I look is forest. It makes me really calm. So uh, that's uh, my favorite thing about uh, this project. Hello, my name is Liza and I'm from Ukraine. I'm future doctor. Uh, I have never been in such a uh, happy and friendly environment. Uh, and it's very, it's very positive for, for our mental health. Actually, uh, my uh, uh, the most uh, favorite activity from the Erasmus was forest bathing. Yeah, we did forest bathing. We were like in nature, and uh, we connected with it uh, by um, keeping silence and uh, listening to the nature, feeling the textures uh, and uh, smelling. Uh, and even trying, uh, so um, everyone here are so positive and friendly and they give a lot of love, I have never experienced it and uh, to be honest, I'm so lucky to be here and I will go in for another time because I really liked this experience. Yeah. Hello, my name is Razvan. I am here in Poland for my first ever Erasmus project. Uh, I am really glad I took part in this project because I've learned so much about Poland and every other country that participated. This is by far the best way to get uh, accustomed to new cultures, to learn about people and uh, how people think all around the world. We did a lot of activities, a lot of therapeutic activities that uh, uh, are based on uh, releasing stress and calming you down, which I really needed, like it was very well executed. Uh, it was also very fun, everyone was uh, very happy to be around people. They were very open to talking, to sharing their experiences. Uh, the cultural night as well was um, amazing. Everyone put their hardest into it. They presented food, they presented dances, they threw parties. It is overall a lot of fun and I am honestly so sad that it's ending. And if, if you want to join Erasmus+, Plus, please do, because it is a once in a lifetime experience. Applicant for the project was the Iniciativa Foundation for Local Community Development from Lenjine in Novizhmigrut municipality. The foreign project partners were non-governmental organization. Arteko Pavletic, Croatia. Asociacija Profesini Iniciative Teen Class, Jornimas ir Suagusei, Lithuania. Koda di Lupo, Italy. Kuzisti Implicati Organization from Romania, Global Entrepreneur Disabled Association from Turkey, Health Grow Center for Personal and Cultural Development for Children and Youngsters from Bulgaria, and Non-Governmental Organization Action from Ukraine.